Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District Arc episode number 11 reaction and this is the final episode of this season. Um, okay, um, now I already know like the um, season, next season, season 3 has already been uh, announced. It, uh, I think like there was like a little teaser that came out. Um, I don't know when it will release, but at least it is confirmed that yeah, we're going to get one in the future and uh, Yeah, I'm happy, you know, like and today like this this probably shows like this is like the final episode of this arc I was thinking like is this going to like, you know extend to a different season like or something But turns out I'm guessing this like entertainment district arc and the whole thing with Tengen is probably going to end in this episode so Yeah, like and then we're going to shift to I think Mits. I, I forgot her name, I don't remember her name, but the pink and green haired girl, you know, Mitsuru or Mitsuri was her name, I don't remember, but you know, like the next season is going to focus on her and the, the other guy, um, I don't remember any of their names, you know, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, but yeah, um, we're going to start with them, so this is probably the final time, uh, like, you know, we're going to see anything with Denzin, um, if, I really hope he survives this one, you know, like, and I don't want anyone dying like Rengoku. I've not seen the ed episode still. Like, you know, I really hope he survives. And if he survives, we're probably going to meet her later, meet him later on in the future. Uh, but this will probably be the final time we're going to work with him. So, yeah, let's see what happens in this episode. The previous episode, um, we, uh, like, you know, got both Daki and Yutaro at the same time. And uh, there was a lot of things we had to do, you know, like, you know, like, was able to somehow you know uh, nullify like you know because he was born in the mountains and everything he uh he's accustomed to the poison and stuff so he was able to do like you know like come up like that and like you know defeat uh help defeating daki while tengen also uh, was able to uh, come back because he actually faked his death at that moment to wait for a proper opportunity and not his death but faked his unconsciousness and he also helped Tanjiro taking down Gyutaro. So uh, Inosuke and Zenitsu took out Daki while Gyutaro was taken out by uh, Tanjiro and Tengen. And uh, Tanjiro has gotten a lot of poison within him now. He was like hyperventilating and stuff. And like, you know, the whole place blew up. Tengen shouted and like, you know, was trying to get to Tanjiro, but I don't know if he was successful or not. Um, Let's see what happened here. Like I, I have, no clue how this is going to go so i really hope no one dies I, I i really don't want to see like another death just like you know like the whole thing with rengoku nah no more i i really am not fond of anime deaths like i i doubt anyone is fond of that but i really don't want seeing another death but anyways let's see uh let's see what this episode brings this is the final episode of season uh two so yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start all right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> oh boy, here we go. Okay. So this is the end of them. But we don't know what is going to happen after this they blew up so oh boy oh. yeah oh my god yeah this thing Oh no. He's like out of this completely. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no, let's go. what whoa what the hell like did it did she transform again
no matter how many lives. <laughs> All right, he's okay. <laughs> okay. Look at his hand, her hands. <laughs> Small little hands. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my god, look at Okay, what happened to Inosuke and Zenitsu? They were also here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm pretty sure she saved. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm pretty. Sure... What? Okay. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Nezuko run! <laughs> oh yeah, he's unaware of the fact that he was fighting. Okay, great. Oh yeah, where, where is he? Oh yeah, yeah, he's got stabbed. Oh no. Where is he? Oh my god, we need some help here. He's also poisoned. Sunlight. It's, it's night, yeah. Too much. It'll take too much time. Wait, I think Nezuko did something, didn't she? Does she have like healing capabilities? Oh my god. Yeah, she has healing capabilities. Uh, okay, thank god she, he's fine. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Nezuko's face. What happened to her? I'm I'm pretty sure Tengen is fine. I'm. Oh, come on, Nezuko. 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 Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Nezuko can heal you, so... Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face! What is the sight of my face? <laughs> okay, Nezuko is definitely going to... Okay, there you go. There she is. Okay, calm down. Yeah. Yeah, the poison is gone. So she has like poison, her flame has poison neutralizing capabilities. 
or maybe demon poison or something like that who knows <laughs> oh my god i'm glad he's alive i was there was a moment i was thinking he was going to die or something like rengoku hmm <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Nezuko's carrying him <laughs> interesting to see the Nezuko's carrying him it's always been you know the reverse so okay Okay. Oh my god, Nezuko's face, I cannot. What? <laughs> oh yeah, he needs the sample. I forgot about that for a second. What the? Oh wait, is this? Oh yeah, Tamao. Yeah. Where was the character suddenly pops up? What is this, video game? Like, you know? <laughs> like... Okay, like that. All right, I understand now. Okay. What? What's happening? Oh, oh, th it's them. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're. Yeah, they're dying. Well, I was not expecting this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, I was just talking about this in the previous episode, you know? Oh. Wait, really? Okay. Yeah, we'll have to forgive each other, I guess. <sighs> yeah.
Ume, that was on this. Oh. All right, here we go, the backstory. Oh my God, what? Wait. Since you were named after the... Wait, what? After the disease? Oh my Oh no, what the Oh my god Abuse and it's just a Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. Oh my god, is that a snake? Oh. Oh, and then Daki or Ume was born? Wow, she is beautiful. Oh, is that her actual... Oh, okay. Oh, that's debt collector. Okay. Oh, so it so makes so much sense. Like, why he likes people with like you know in. Wait, what happened? Wait, what? Oh! Oh my god! Wait, so how does she become a demon? Oh, she's still alive. Oh my god, being alive in that... Oh. I'm guessing Muzan comes here. Muzan comes in. Uh, wait, what? Oh my god, what the hell? Wow, these people are... Well, these people are going to die now. Yep, they're going to die. Yep, there you go. Your head is gone and... Your head is gone. 
or maybe not it's still not gone okay never mind Oh boy. Well. Okay. Oh! Yo! Okay. Yep. Now... He loses his full head. <sighs> fortune and misfortune are intertwined uh, that's not true you know a lot of times wait who wait who is this What? Wait, who's this upper six? It's a new character? Yeah, nothing to lose now. They're dying, so. Upper six. Okay, so he's one of the upper six. Damn, his eyes are really pretty. This man, rainbow colored. Jutaro. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. No, no, no. Nah, that that guy was uh, no. The way he acted after that, I don't think this this would have happened. I don't believe that. Oh boy. Okay, so I think they're dead. Oh. Wait, what is this place? Yeah, she's also here. But Gyutaro's like still a demon, so.
that's not why she, he is saying that he's saying that because he wants like, i think yuta thinks that there's still a chance for her like because he's reverted back to her human human form so he thinks there's still a chance for her Yeah, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh boy. Oh my god. Okay, great. What now? Please stop this. Who is this? Okay, thank god. I thought it was like another demon or something. <laughs> okay, now he's going to retire. <laughs> okay, this guy. I forgot her name, his name. <laughs> Oh. Well. No, we're retiring. They have retirement plans. There you go. That's the plan. Yeah, make Tanjiro a Hashira. <laughs> and I'm joking because it's but uh, wow no like yeah there you go three of them Ooh. wait why did he say that he hated him does he know him or something Okay, I, I need to go back to that part again and rewatch that scene. Oh uh. my god, he's like bleeding. Oh. Is this also like something like poison or something?
kind of looks like poison. Amane. That's her name. Wait, is, is she her, his wife or something? During our generation. Oh, so wait, is Muzan like, oh, part of his family or something? Okay, it would make sense. There you go, oh my god, they're, the, they're his daughters and that's his wife. Amani, I think that's her name. Oh boy, Akasa is here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, I am also really glad. Like, no one died here except the demons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you need to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, perfect. Okay. I'm so happy no one died. I was like, you know, I was thinking like, is this going to be like, become a thing or something? Like every Hashira we meet, they're going to die by the end of it. Like Rengoku died, now Tengen will die. And then the next Hashira we meet, they're also going to die. Is this going to become a thing or something? I was really concerned. And as I said, I, I really like Tengen as a character, so I didn't really want anything happening to him or anyone. And I'm really happy, you know, like everything's fine. He's retiring, thank God, like it just, like, you know, like have fun in your retirement. Like no need to get, get into more demon slaying. Like it's okay. Like he earned it, I guess. So yeah, like at least, like, you know, this season we kind of get a happy ending unlike like you know Mugen Rishahen where Rengoku just was like you know oh boy oh wow okay this um okay I have to say like season not this is season two yeah the entertainment district arc um I, this is probably my most favorite uh, one out of the whole, like, you know, like Demon Slayer, um, the whole thing, because I don't know, but I, I, I like this one the most. And Mugen Rishan was really good, but um, as I said, you know, like, I am a big fan for happy endings, like, you know, sad, like, you know, the way if something ends sadly, it, it's really, I, I don't feel comfortable with it. That's why even though Mugen Rishan was so amazing, I would probably prefer this, like, you know, the ending of this season to that because I really did not like seeing Rengoku die like that. I doubt anyone liked that. So this one has a happy ending and has, has a good story. So, and yeah, and I have to, I think I'll, I have to say, I, I really liked the uh, antagonists in season two as well, Daki and Gyutaro. Like... Like as enemies, they like you know they had like a, a very solid story, and um, yeah, that's why all like you know included. I like this season the most in Demon Slayer out of all the seasons we've seen. So for now, I don't know what's going to happen after season three comes out. Maybe that'll become my most favorite. Who knows? There you go, the end. 
okay now i do know as i said i do know season 3 has been announced and i don't know when it's going to come out but hopefully soon so yeah probably maybe like an all you know almost at the end of 2022 we're going to get demon slayer season 3 something like that okay that was this episode fantastic and i was i was kind of like you know a little bit concerned when i started this episode i was thinking like oh i really hope no one dies here and thank god no one died um except you know kyutaro and daki and i'm really glad like it it it, it ended like this you know it's not ended but you know like season two my entertainment district arc ended in this manner all right this episode now uh, first of all uh we get to see something new here nezuko's um i guess demon art that has like poison neutralizing capabilities now i don't know if this is actually like poison neutralizing capabilities or is it like a thing specific uh where like you know she's only able to neutralize poison from a demon like can can she neutralize normal poison i'm thinking about that you know like because it's i don't know it wouldn't surprise me if this is like you know only limited to demons like you know like she can only uh, neutralize poison or stuff like you know uh done by demons because she herself is a demon maybe because of that you know so that's i'm still not sure about we'll get to see later on i'm sure when her power increases or we get to see more application of our powers but yeah okay i have to say <laughs> in this serious you know episode this episode was pretty serious like the whole almost throughout the whole episode um nezuko's expressions were hilarious i i didn't know whether to feel concerned about the situation or laugh looking at nezuko's eyes like <laughs> whenever he, she becomes small you know like the expressions that she makes is hilarious and cute so i really was confused at to whether i'm supposed to feel concerned or laugh looking at nezuko <laughs> But yeah, the situation was pretty concerning, like, you know, when we were unaware of the fact that what is going to happen here. Now, in the beginning, as I said, I did not properly catch what happened. You know, like, I did understand that Nezuko saved uh, Tanjiro, but that was it. And when Tanjiro, like, you know, kind of gets up, he's like, wait a minute, what happened to my poison? How am I okay? I kind of thought about that moment when I, that happened. I kind of thought, like, okay, maybe Nezuko has, like, uh some power or something which kind of took out the poison uh, but then like you know after that like you know like stuff happens and i kind of my mind kind of gets diverted again you know inosuke is not being found zenitsu is crying and oh my god zenitsu zenitsu <laughs> sometimes i feel concerned for him you know why because it's for him it's as if like you know he went to sleep and then he wakes up and he sees like everything's over and he's like how am i hurt so much what happened like you know like uh, like <laughs> it's weird i i don't know how he's able to like you know stay sane after like you know like that still um he like you know he was just like you know crying and everything so my mind got, got diverted for a moment there uh we found inosuke and then when we see inosuke is like you know uh like blood is like you know dripping and everything like the the, the poison is there uh, I was thinking like, okay, how how can we save this situation? Um, like, also there's like a part of me that was a little bit concerned. I thought like maybe we, in, you know, is going to die or something. Um, and like because the situation is like this, like there's no like you know person here as a reinforcement. No one can do first aid here. The poison is seeping in, and I was thinking, how can you save this situation? And then it struck me, I'm like, wait a minute, Tanjiro also had the poison in him and he doesn't have it within him now. So that means Nezuko did something. And that's when it actually um, registered in my head that, yeah, Nezuko probably neutralized the poison. And that's when Nezuko, you know, kind of puts her hands on top of um, Inosuke's you know, stomach and everything, like where the poison is, and uses her like flame to burn off the poison. Now yeah okay um <clears throat> so okay that was that then we go to tengen you know tengen's like almost dying and everything and <laughs> like obviously that scene it, it was like you know very what can i say 
um, a, a very serious situation. Tengen's like, you know, almost dying and everything. And he's like, okay, I need to say something. My last words. Like, obviously, like, I knew, like, he was not going to die. Because as soon as it, the fact got established that Nezuko can burn off the poison, uh, as soon as that happened, you know, I was pretty confirmed that, yeah, Tengen's going to, like, you know, be alive by the end of this. So, like, the situation really did not hit me that, like, you know, like that emotionally, because I knew he was going to be fine. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the people who, like, you know, like, what do you call it, the author also intended it like that, because they, like, you know, like, the author, like, you know, put in these comical elements while he was dying. You know, he was, like, just <laughs> sitting there <laughs> saying, okay, I have something to say, my last final words. And like Suma is just screeching on the top of her lungs. She's like, oh no, like like you know, like I I don't, I don't what did she what was she saying? Um, I'll for not forgive you. Don't leave this and that. She was just crying, wailing. And Makio is like, shut the hell up. Like you know, he's trying to talk. I'm going to put rocks in your mouth. And like you know, they start throwing rock at each other. Hinasuru is like, will you do shut up? Like you know, like there's something concerning is happening here and you two are like you know making a ruckus over here and tengen is just like you know laying down there thinking like what the hell is this i'm dying and this is how i'm going to die like you know my wives are fighting for i don't know what reason and i'm going to die like this without even saying my last word like is this how i'm going to go <laughs> you know with the saitama face he's just staring up at the sky and like <laughs> like obviously like you know this scene was intended to be like this because i'm pretty sure like you know as, as soon as enezuko used the uh, you know poison neutralizing thing i'm pretty sure everyone who read the manga or who is watching the anime realized that yeah tengen will be fine so i'm guessing the author kind of you know included this like as a little comic like you know comedic like you know section because like the the tension was not there you know like because we all know tengen won't die so like you know the they kind of included this little hilarious <laughs> comical you know stuff and yeah nezuko comes in nezuko's like there you go yeah, puts her hand <laughs> and the, the the flame burns off the um poison and and suma's like what are you doing like you know do you want to get a spanking <laughs> Oh no. And then Tengen's like, I'm fine, it's okay. <laughs> and Nezuka's proud of herself. She's like, look at this. Didn't I tell you? You know the little um <laughs> thing that she does like this? And then puts her head up high. And that smug little face. Okay, that was that. <clears throat> then uh, Inosuke, uh, not Inosuke, sorry, uh, Tanjiro and Netsuko starts on the, like, you know, little trip to find the demon, two demons. Like, I love the fact that Netsuko was actually carrying Tanjiro. <laughs> it, you know, the whole situation was so, like, you know, unusual. Like, you know, Nezuko's like this, like, you know, Nezuko's height is like this. And Tanjiro is so, like, you know, big. And Nezuko's just carrying him. You know, on his on her shoulders like that. <laughs> Such an unusual scene, but and and her face is like you know like two little dots in the place of her eyes. Like my God, this episode was full of Nezuko expressions. I'm pretty sure a lot of edits will come out of this season, like you know this episode, like you know like edits of like you know Nezuko being Nezuko or something like that. I'm pretty sure it is. It's probably already out, you know, in YouTube. If you like search something like Nezuko expressions last season. Demon said, you're probably going to find all the comp compilations of like, you know, the montages of Nezuko being Nezuko, you know, with that uh, <laughs> weird face that she makes. <laughs> oh boy. But anyways, um, so yeah, uh, Tanjiro comes into like a pool of blood, which was their blood. It's an, and I, I completely forgot about this, you know, like if I was Tanjiro, I probably would have forgotten to take the sample. No, but yeah, like, like it's good, but I guess like, you know, this is actually concerning his sister. So obviously he remembered that. So he took the blood and sent it to Tamama. And then at that moment when the cat, like, you know, suddenly appeared, 
I was like, what is this? What's happening? How did the cat know that she's supposed to come here now? Like, you know, when you, in, in those video games you see, like, you know, you, you're supposed to, like, get something, you get something, and then there's someone suddenly pops up to actually collect it from you, and then vanishes in, in front of you. Like, it was something like that. And, you know, the cat suddenly appears, takes the thing and goes away. I'm pretty sure, yeah, like, you know, the cat was probably, like, you know, like, uh, I won't say programmed, but it, it was probably something like that, like a spell was probably put on, like it was like a familiar or something, I'm guessing, uh, which was supposed to come whenever he got the vial of blood. So yeah, it, it's got, got, went to Tamayo and hopefully she's able to make like a, a medicine, an antidote, whatever you call it, to re return Nezuko back to a human. It's probably going to take a little bit of time, but eventually okay um all right now the important part of this episode comes we go back to daki and um jutaro and they're kind of like you know squabbling and like you know quarreling with each other and um, now here's the thing um just like obviously like you know they were like you know kind of blaming each other like that and tanjiro comes in and <coughs> stops um, Yutaro before he says that I like you know it would have been better if you were not born or something he was going to say something like that uh, he just stopped him and he was like like you are like you know demons you are like you know you are like beings which kill so many people and you know like you're bad you you are bad people you you know like you're 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 not good so a lot of people, most of the people are going to curse you and are not going to look you know, in positive manner towards you guys. So the only person that will probably be your ally is your sister or your brother. You, know? you two are in the same situation. So if you two even start quarreling with each other and calling each other names, insulting each other, then that's not right. You two only have you two. There's no one else in this world for you. So don't do that. You know, you're, you're siblings. And like, obviously, like, you know, we, we kind of understood when uh, Daki was like, you know, saying stuff like, oh, you're ugly. I don't like you. And, you know, like, um, like your only redeeming fact uh, feature was that you were strong. So if since you were we, you weren't able to even do that defeat them like what where does it leave you and you know you thought it was like oh like because of you I like sacrificed my whole life this and that and obviously like you know both of them did not mean it and this is like you know like this is the thing like as as Dakin says later on that I was just saying stuff like that because I I'm angry I was angry I did not want to. Uh, what do you call it? I do not want to um, admit my mistake. And okay, one thing I was a little bit curious here. Where is that part? I I feel like the Yuta said something about being adopted or something. Like, did I read that wrong? Where is that? Okay, here it is. Okay, um, Daki says that you could not possibly be my brother. All right, here's the part. I bet you and I. Oh no 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 no. Okay okay. Oh so she says like I bet you and I aren't related by blood. Since we look nothing alike, you're so useless. Your saving grace is your strength. Okay so she basically kind of says that in anger. I for a moment I thought like are they like uh, step siblings or something or like. Just a sec. Like. Okay, and then Gyutaro gets angry. You will be long dead. How many times have I saved you? You're worthless, son, and you uh. Okay, so. Okay, so that was basically her kind of throwing a tantrum. Uh, yeah, they are actual siblings. Yeah. Like, I. Like, why? It was happening so quickly, and. I, I thought for a moment I thought like oh they're adopted or something like what but now no I'm now that I'm I've gone back to that scene and that was just Daki like you know kind of 
uh, getting angry and saying that and she, she didn't mean that okay yeah like okay now that that was cleared up like i thought like they said something about being adopted or something i'm like what's happening no 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 that was my mistake all right anyways um <clears throat> so okay that was that and then we get to like the flashback um where we get to see about yutaro and daki daki's actual name was ume and uh, okay now one thing um like the name uh, okay he says okay the first thing that we see like you know Gyutaro was like in a like in a, in a room and someone was you know, in in the bed i think that was his mom or was it zaki i think that was her mom his mom because zaki was still not born at that moment okay he says ume was pretty bad too since you were named after the disease that killed our mother. Wait, um... What? Like, I don't understand, like... The, the mom, we already saw the mom was alive when Ume was born. I'm pretty sure the mom probably named her. So, why is he saying that uh, the name is after the disease that killed our mother? Like, like when Ume was born, he, she, her mom was alive, wasn't, wasn't she? Yeah. Like, what is happening here? Since you were named after the disease that killed our mother, Rashomon Riverbank. Okay, this, this part, I'm not understanding this part. Like, what I'm trying to say here is. He says like the name was uh, given after the disease that killed their mother. Now we already saw later on that the mom was alive when like you know Ume or Daki was born. I'm pretty sure uh, like you know like the mom actually named her. So why would the mom name her like you know her after a disease that will kill her later on? Like this doesn't make sense. I don't understand this thing. So. Like, is it that everyone called her Ume and her real name was something else or like what? Like, what is her real name? This part is confusing me a little bit. I don't understand the, the thing that actually Jyutaro says here. Like, how could the name be something that... I don't know. But anyways, um, okay, and then we see like, you know, the, the, the hardships that they had to go through. Um, and since this was like the entertainment district, you know, everyone like, you know, like valued beauty. And that's why, like, you know, uh, Gyutaro says like everyone kind of threw stones at me, did not like me, beat me up. And I just did my own thing, like, you know, played with a sickle, killed rats and ate rats, ate snakes. And things started to change when she was born. Yeah, like here we can clearly see, like you know, like Ume is born. You know, her mom is there with him, her. I'm, I'm pretty sure the mom probably named her. Why would she name her after her disease? Like, I don't understand. And she's like, you know, like uh, I don't know. Okay, and here's where everything starts changing. You know, like. Uh, he like you know realizes that Ume is obviously like you know like everyone just looks at Ume. Ume is extremely pretty, while he can act like a debt collector because he has this thing about fighting. He can fight properly, so like you know their their uh, like fate starts changing little by little. Like uh, Ume was the one who like you know was a uh, what can I say turning point in Gyutaro's life. His life his like you know everyone's life like their life started becoming better after ume was born so like you know i'm, I'm pretty sure this probably was like a huge sense of pride for okay he, he himself says this like you know my ugliness becomes a source of our pride and having a gorgeous sister like you dispelled my sense of inferiority 
like i'm pretty like you know one thing i'm pretty impressed here is like he actually took this in a positive ma manner like i've seen a lot of like you know situations where uh, you know like it's like you know the brother will like who we can see here like you know in gyutaro's position if the brother if someone was there you know they would get jealous of their sister and bully her or something you know like like that like i've seen situations like that as well like here he took this in a very positive light he says like having a gorgeous sister like you dispelled my sense of inferiority while i've seen a lot of like you know situations where it's actually the opposite where it does not dispel but it actually puts more sense of inferiority on like you know that character like for example you know like that 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 the most common situation i like you know um we've also seen this in anime this also happens in real world as well like for example two brothers or like you know one brother one sister one is very good at something some kind of like you know maybe in academics or sports whatever while the other person is not that good very mediocre and people continuously like you know like you know kind of compare them you know the like in the person who is not good the sibling who is not good at a particular thing that person gets like this inferiority complex starts getting jealous of the other sibling starts hating that sibling and you know like that that's usually what happens so i'm kind of like you know quite surprised here that he took this in a very positive light and i can understand that why he did that because as as we can see uh, after ume was born his life changed for the better and he took it in a sense of pride that oh my sister is so beautiful and i can become like you know be what i am like you know beat up people take debts collect debts for them and you know like we do our own thing but we support each other in our own way and i'm guessing that was like the sense of pride that she felt he felt like he knew he thought like yeah if, if, if this goes on like this we'll be fine you know um everything will be fine our life will be okay you know i will keep like you know doing my thing like beating up people collecting debts while ume will be like you know d do her own thing so yeah and he says like you know like uh, i had a feeling we were on the fast track to the better life Know, he's bringing rice and everything and okay that's when tragedy stucks um okay he goes back sees like you know the place has burned down and he gets to know that this happened because uh it stabbed a customer a samurai's eye with a hairpin blinding him you were bound hand and foot out of retaliation and then burned alive like it's really messed up you know this whole thing of um uh, like this, as as we saw, you know, like there will be people who act in inappropriately, you know, in situations like this. And like obviously, because she she was supposed. I'm I'm pretty sure um, uh, Ume was supposed to become uh, Oiran in the future, and um, you know, like that's why like you know, like there will be definitely be people who act inappropriately, and that's I'm pretty sure the samurai probably did something like that, and that's why he got stabbed in his eyes by Ume, and. Yeah, obviously this pompous little brat. I'm guessing this samurai, uh, like you know, their ego got hurt or whatever, and yeah, killed her. So, and that's when everything comes crashing down. Gyutaro, only sense of pride and joy. You know, there's no more here in this world. She starts crying, and in comes the pompous little brat again, the samurai, and. You know the person i'm guessing like the, the the lady the older lady that was with him was probably like the one um like you know in charge of this place or something like i'm guessing you know like yeah probably the the head of the the house that they were working she was working at i'm guessing something like that probably so yeah she was like oh like yeah it's a shame we lost ume but yeah i'm going to like you know replace her this and that this thing and i'm i'm quite happy that the samurai got what he deserved and even the lady got what she deserved you know like he um yutaro came out and just flashed his head oh boy yeah it's sad like you know like this whole situation is so sad he he takes his sister and starts walking and yeah turns out he crosses path with an upper demon now i don't think we've ever seen this demon before i have to say i really like his eyes like it's like 
rainbow color not rainbow but there's like four colors yellow orange red and green or blue whatever damn his eyes are really <laughs> but anyways yeah he he comes in and i'm pretty sure we'll meet him in the future he has like this weird patch on his head on his hair um i don't know what that is but anyways he comes in and he gives them blood uh, to become up like you know to become demons and if it suits with them like you know with their body they'll become demons otherwise they'll die so and at that moment i think you know like taking that path was probably the best way to uh like you know survive like you know make uh ume alive again like, ume was was definitely going to die after that so he he had no choice he, he took the blood and he became like this and here's where you know like we see like the branch in path where yutaro says like i was like you know messed up from the beginning my my path was um written from the beginning and i i wouldn't be able to go past some like you know that path to some other path you know my my path was set in stone but you your path could have been a little bit different if i did something different if i raised you a little bit different like he says like you know then he's like you know thinks about all the possibilities that could have happened to me maybe he she worked at a better house she could have been, become a respectable oiran you know if he was born in normal with normal parents she could have become a normal girl and you know like uh maybe she could have been born in a well-bred family and become a well-bred young lady and or like okay I, I i can kind of understand all of those but the thing that he says in the end i don't believe that would have happened you know she says like but yeah if you'd done as he said he as for the samurai um you might have followed a different path now here's the thing um we already saw how the samurai acted later on like i don't think like the thing that i think ume the thing that ume did there um what can i say like it did end up killing her i guess that was like a mistake in a way but still like the thing that yutaro says here like if you did what he said i think i'm i'm actually glad that she did not go in that path because we already saw the samurai he was like a pompous little brat who thinks that the world uh, revolves around him or something because he just uh, because someone like you know he 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 probably acted in, inappropriately and because of that because he like you know in retaliation to that his eyes got stabbed he got kind of what he deserved but he wasn't able to accept that so he just burned her like who acts like that so like you know like so i'm glad that she actually did not do what the samurai told her to do she probably would have been able to get like you know walk, walk a different path if she did that but i'm glad that she did not do that i don't know if this is just me but this is just how i see the situation because like i don't know man like yeah this is like a tough thing to like you know like but i'm 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 at least glad that she actually did not go to, through that path like like she at, at least when she died she had her pride or whatever you can say you know and yeah she she did not like you know lower her head towards injustice or if you call it in that manner so like this last like thing that Gyutaro says like if you're done as he had said maybe you had a different path that might be true that might have been true if she really did what he said she might have gotten a different path and she might have been alive maybe she would have gotten i don't know like married or something to him or in the future or like something probably would have happened like you know in a, in a better way but I'm, I'm glad that it did not go in that direction maybe it's just me i don't know all right anyways okay and then um we get to see like they are in this weird place this dark place where Gyutaro is still in his demon form while Ume went back to her human form now I think this is like this was like one of the crossroads where uh, that's why you know Gyutaro was kind of like you know saying like oh don't follow me you know don't come to me go in the other direction go towards the light I'll go towards this direction now like 
like i don't know i feel like this this is like this has like a greater significance this scene because like i think if we may actually walk the other path you know towards the light maybe he could have been uh like you know like he could she could have gotten salvation i don't know because you know like and the way i'm seeing this whole situation as Gyutaro says, Gyutaro is actually the one who told her to do all these things, you know? Like, he was the one who, like, you know, instructed her and everything. So whatever Daki did was in Gyutaro's instructions because she herself isn't capable of making these type of rational decisions. So in that manner, I think that's why they showed, like, Gyutaro was still a demon in this, like, you know, blank space, while Ume was a human in this space. Like, Ume should have also been, like, you know, been in her demon form, but she was not in her demon form. Probably because she was being manipulated by, not manipulated, I would say manipulated, that's the wrong thing. She was being instructed by um, uh, Yutaro to do what she was doing. So that's why maybe she still had, like, her humanity within him, within her, while Yutaro, because he, he did this, like knowing all the consequences and everything and he was the one who instructed Daki maybe that's why he's like in his demon form here so since 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 Daki is in her human form in her Ume form she could have been probably been able to salvage the situation and be like, you know like saved or something I don't know like this is this is how I see it. Like otherwise, it, it makes so much sense, you know. Like why would Daki be in her human form in this in this position, while Yutaro is in her de in his demon form? Probably because of that, you know. Like he she could have walked on the other direction towards the light, while Yutaro had only one path in front of him. That is the darkness. He he could he cannot turn back to the light because he's he's like in his demon form. But uh, Daki is in her human form, so she could have gone back. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I'm like, you know, maybe I'm overthinking this, but I think this is probably what they tried to signify by seeing, like, you know, giving, showing us this scene. So what Daki did, like, Daki had two choices in front of her, while Gyutaro had only one choice. And Gyutaro knew that he had to walk that, like, you know, dark path. So that's why he kind of, like, you know, acted like that. He said, like, I don't want you. I don't need you anymore. You're useless. Go back. You know? And because he wanted Daki to choose the light. But Daki did not. Daki, like, Daki was saying, like, oh, are you angry at me? I just said that because, you know, I was uh, a little bit, uh, like, I didn't want to accept my mistake and this and that she was saying. Like, but Gyutaro was actually saying that to make her choose the other, to choose the light. But Daki still, like, you know, ran back to him and grabbed onto his neck. And she said, like, like whichever path you take, I'll follow you forever. Um, even in the future lives. You know, I want to be your sister, and you know, like he, she, she chooses. This time, he chooses. She chooses her path, and she chooses to be with Gyutaro and walk the dark path, because that's the only destination that Gyutaro has for him. So Daki decided to follow him forever after this, and yeah, like that's how it ended. Now. I don't know what happens to demons if there's like an afterlife for them are they going to get reincarnated or something but like you know maybe if someday they get reincarnated or something i really hope the best for them because you know like they were just victims of unfortunate circumstances and i'm pretty sure all the demons are in some way or the other so like you know like like they deserved better you know they they they, they got the short stick from, like, you know, from life, from the beginning of their birth, especially Gyutaro. So I really hope, like, if there's, like, a reincarnation thing or something, maybe in the future, uh, lives or something, uh, maybe they will be born in a better family, a better house, and live a proper life as siblings. Oh, boy. I was expecting it being something sad like this. And this really shows why Daki, like, you know, like prefers beauty so much why and Gyutaro prefers not prefers but you know like more sympathetic towards uh, people who have these deficiencies or like you know something the people who are imperfect and yeah because Gyutaro is ba was basically that you know like he, he found pride in his ugliness as he said in the end so anyways 
um all right that's that um okay and then like another character comes in the one with the snake i don't remember his name uh, as i said like you know i i don't remember any of the hashira's name except um gyu and shinobu and obviously i i we already got acquainted uh with um uh, rengoku and tengen so i know their name for now at least but the other hashiras i don't know anyone's names so i don't know who, what his name is <laughs> but yeah he comes in and when they were showing he like you know like like a zoomed in you kind know, of thing of him i was thinking like another demon came out or something and god it was not something like that <laughs> it was one of the hashiras all right she he comes in and he was like oh you have defeated a hashira good job but what's going to happen your hand is gone how are you going to work after this dengen's like now nah, we already had our made this made our decision we are going to defeat one upper uh kizuki and i already did that now i'm going to retire i don't care and he does say that yeah we have like young ones who are promising and i'm sure definitely they will be able to take our future hashira positions and uh, yeah, and then we see like, you know, Tanjiro, Zenitsu and Inosuke coming together, a little group hug, and in uh, Nezuko as well. <laughs> and then we go back to the master, I think that's, I don't know his name, actual name. And now, here's a, an important part of information comes out. He says, like, um, where is that part? Uh, the soul okay yeah kibutsuji muzan i'm i'm sure we will defeat you in this generation you the sole blemish of my family so muzan is oh my god so muzan is actually part of his family maybe like his brother or something or his cousin something i'm guessing so oh that's why he like you know they're like they have this amount of animosity towards each other interesting we get like a vital piece of information of muzan's past from here and I do wonder what the, the, the poison, I think that's like poison or something. I don't know what that is. Like for a moment, I thought, wait a minute, can Nezuko like burn this off or something? But then I realized that no, if, if, if it was so easily burnable, like, you know, like, uh, like, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just for a moment, I thought maybe Nezuko can burn the poison off. If, if it actually is poison, I don't even know what that is. And another information comes in, like, I always thought, like, who is these girls, you know, these little girls that's always with him, and, and the older lady as well. Her name is Amane, and I'm guessing she is his wife. Yeah, most probably. And the, the little kids are actually her, his children. So, yeah, that's, like, something new. I, like, I, I, I kind of suspected that, but I was not sure. And he's extremely happy, like, you know, like, you know, one of the upper uh, six are, have been defeated and oh wait another information i i was almost missing this um so the hashira the one with the snake um like when they were talking uh tengen says something like this no there is a youngster who's about to reach his potential for sure the young guy you hate uh, what like why when when does he hate not tanjiro like wait a minute and he's like hey no way then he survived so wait he and tanjiro are acquainted i guess they are acquainted because they kind of met in that like you know little meeting that they had but they did not have any conversation so why does he hate him i don't understand that part this is like a spoiler thing or something. Maybe they're, maybe he knows Tanjiro or who knows. But anyways, that's like another thing that we got to see here. Yeah. Okay. And then we get to see Akaza again. You know, like he has been called to Muzan's, you know, alternate dimension, the infinity castle. And because one of the upper demons got, you know, killed. And yeah, Tengen. And his wives are going to be, like, not his wives, but Tengen is going to be retired after this. So, yeah. <laughs> Happy ending, I guess. Oh boy, I'm glad that this ended in with no deaths. And I'm really glad about that. And uh, because I really, like, you know, I really like Tencent quite a lot. So, I'm, I'm happy that nothing happened to him. 
and yeah so season three after this i don't know when it will start probably almost at the end of 2022 or something um but yeah i'm waiting for that and i think like obviously the the, the girl i i think her name is mitsuri or mitsuru something like that she will be the main, main focus uh and the other guy the, the guy who's like you know kind of quiet and everything that guy these two person will be the one in focus because i kind of saw the teaser and uh yeah the, those two were being shown so i'm guessing those two will be like the main characters if you can call them in that season just like how tengen was the like main character in this season like that so yeah so that was it that was my reaction to the final episode of demon slayer the entertainment district arc mm, overall i really enjoyed this season i kind of said this before and uh, this is probably the best season for me because um you know like um as i said like you know R R mugen rashan was good but i'm really not happy of, about like you know I, i'm really not good with sad endings and that was very sad you know rengoku's death and everything so i'm 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 i prefer this season to that because this gets like at least gets a happy ending like you know like tengen is fine i'm i'm really happy about that so uh yeah like this is probably my favorite season and and the enemies as well like you know daki and gyutaro they had like like an, an what can i say like a good character development and everything and yeah it, it was good i like this one you know so yeah that was it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to the final episode of demon slayer so if uh entertainment just did talk so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know but no spoilers and i'll check them out so yeah that was it so thank you guys for watching um for now i won't be replacing this uh show with anything i will replace this in march you know the, the, in, in this day what i do i'll replace it in march you know and i'll start a new show like i'll make a poll and everything that's for the future uh, or maybe i'll just uh, uh you know what um i'll i'll like you know i'll i'll do like a poll now like i'm if you go to the community tab i i probably would have already posted it there will be a poll uh for the animes that i will react to in march you know for this like you know which will be replacing demons there i'll start it from march so um not march sorry um april april when this like you know the winter 2022 animes end so you know you, you can go there and like you know vote for uh, there'll be like five options you can vote for the anime that you would want me to react to so yeah i'll already do it so go there and check it out in the community tab so yeah and when season three will start airing i'll definitely be back with demon slayer more demon slayer and react to it so but that's in the future uh so yeah anyway so thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day